Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. We're following breaking news from overnight. Detroit police are investigating a deadly shooting on the city's east side. This is LeMay Street near Jefferson and St. Jean. No word yet on what led up. Uh, to the shooting as we take a look at these live pictures. We also have no word yet if police have anyone in custody, but we are monitoring this situation. And we'll bring you updates on air and at WXYZ.com. Also breaking on Detroit's west side, police are looking for a suspect after a barricaded gunman situation. It started around 1230 this morning at a home on Hazelwood near Rosa Parks in Claremont. Now that's where police say a man assaulted his girlfriend. A woman and their one month old baby came out of the home around four o'clock this morning, but it's believed the boyfriend left before the officers arrived. Police say they want to find that man and talk with them. Good Monday morning. It's in the lower 30s right now. This afternoon will be in the mid 40s. It's not going to be as warm as yesterday, but this is still a pretty warm day for the start of February. And uh, tonight, then temperatures fall to around 33 degrees. Metro Detroit could be below freezing, though, north of M59. So tomorrow morning, maybe some slick roads. Light rain overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Slick roads possible north of M59 tomorrow. And then Wednesday night's our next chance of accumulating snow. Could see two to three inches. Friday, lighter snow showers. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.